Welcome everyone to another fun episode. Not from Berlin, but our family's weekend getaway. This is why we filmed from this nice, lovely vintage table. So this IKEA LED light bulb is already defect, 16.5 watts. And I thought I quickly wanted to let you know. And I have the feeling the higher wattage LED light bulbs really get defect rather quickly. Let's see, do we find here a production date? I think this is not older than three years. Made in China, 16.5 LED, 27.8 milliampere, 60 lumen per watt, 220 volt, mm, 2700K, Sweden, Elm, Hult, mm. quality check powers there, not really immediately seeing a production date here, but this is probably three years old and it was not used so much. And in Berlin I also had one that, not, not this one, but a similar one that also was 11 watts or something, broke in the warranty period and I really got a warranty replacement. But here I don't have the received and I will not bother right now here. Anyway, I thought I quickly try to open it up to try to take a look inside. The question is how do we get inside here, especially as I don't have here some Dremel or something. So we will just crazily poke around here and see. It's moving a little bit. but Is this glued or what is this? Yeah, it's glued. And this is how it looks. Actually a little bit surprising to me. So they have there just a handful of LEDs. And this was... Yeah, this looks glued. So this was just glued. Besides, actually, they could just have snapped it in there, but they probably learned from Apple to glue everything. I really wonder what broke inside this, given that there are so many old-fashioned LEDs. Actually, I have a simple 10 buck digital multimeter here, in case to measure something, but that I think we can repair you something. But these LEDs are not black, so probably don't think this LEDs, it's even version 2. Um, not sure, do I have a smaller screwdriver here? Maybe not. Otherwise I need to use a kitchen knife too. So, so this we can not really get off. Actually I have a Phillips head screwdriver, I think. You see, no problem. But I suggest all family we can get a ways to have some tool set because you never know when you need to disassemble some IKEA LED light bulb. Yeah, no problem. So more glued or what is this now? Or do we need to solder this off? Maybe. Maybe we can repair this after all. Maybe this is just some contact problem there. Let me get the 10 buck soldering iron out. You see, I was not joking when I said we have a soldering iron here. Fancy 10 bucks. You see, it's even written. Soldering iron. It's totally high quality product. 40 watts. But this is from... The process is 40 watt soldering iron. It takes forever to get warm. It is slightly annoying. Yeah. It's still not warm. Let's suspend the video until this is warm. Two minutes later, and you probably want, by the way, this is how the original professional industrial soldering looks like there. So let's see if we can get this off. Yeah, not much happening because 40 watt. So I also can't recommend the soldering iron. You want to get more than a 10 buck soldering iron, this is annoying. 
Yeah, the whole wire is getting warm, but not warm enough to get loose there. Maybe if we make a huge blob and throw it on there. We need to maybe just cut it off because this is ridiculous. This is probably also glued or something here on this base for cooling this LED, so maybe this is why we can't get this solder off so nicely as this is intentionally made to transfer the heat away from this LED PCB thing there. 40 watt is not getting you anywhere there. So then let's professional cut this off. It's not that we are likely to fix this anyway. Yeah, now this is getting off. Yeah, so probably my guess is, so this is how these pieces look. Just inside there. And this on there. And I'm pretty sure this glued, sorry, coming off. So I'm pretty sure this glued piece of PCB is probably defect. This is of course, a little bit sad that you have this LEDs and then LEDs are not getting defect, but this stupid, completely glued constant current source here. It's probably not like we can get something out here or actually this stuff comes off there, but there is no way except dremeling this off to get into there. And even if we could get into there, it's also no fun to repair this glued together thing. So. I mean, the funny thing is, this is actually slightly serviceable, but then, of course, it's not intended to be serviceable, and with no extra effort, this could actually be made serviceable if this would not be glued in there. There's some gunky stuff all over here. So, yeah, but in case you wondered for anyone, behind the tube at home. This is how an LED light bulb looks inside. Totally ordinary, straightforward technology. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And don't forget to share, like and subscribe for all the next videos to come. only required one touch there so this is a little bit sticky stuff maybe this is relatively normal thermal compound like you would put on your CPU actually so I could take this to Berlin and maybe have a studio light or something just apply some constant current and it may still work at least the LED part so yeah that is what I meant with intended as a heatsink for the LEDs here to cool them. It's an interesting PCB though, this metal-backed heatsink kind of PCB. Explains why we had a hard time to solder on this, so... But where you can see there on the reflections, you can see a little bit uh, the traces of the PCB there, actually. I'm surprised that I can't measure here any diode testing here in either polarity and also no resistance here. Well, let's see, can we with 2K, you know, 10 bucks uh, construction store, light meter crap. No, but even this, no resistance here at all. So I wonder if after all this LEDs burn through. The LED lasts longer, they said, and this is already the second LED light this year that gave up. So hmm, I personally will probably not continue to buy any LED light pipes at IKEA. I will probably stick more to some name brands like Osram or something.